50 Cent. It actually just came to mind, man. Um, He gave you a shout out on In The Club, right? <laughs> How did that come about? I don't know. I wasn't there. You know, I got a call one day and they said, yo, man, 50 Cent <laughs> just shouted you out in the song. And I was like, oh, that's dope. No, actually, Tracy, Mc, Tracy, Mc, Tracy McNew um, called me and told me first that she works very closely with, with M's camp. You know what I'm saying? She's in M's camp. And so she called me first and was like, hey, they said they shouted you out the song. I was like, what? Which one? And then next thing I know, that shit is fucking everywhere. So shout out 50. You know what I'm saying? Right on, man. You know, that shit was crazy. It was dope. And you was in the video for In The Club, right? What's the backstory behind that, yo? They called me. <laughs> yo, come through the video. I was like, yo, I put on my little jersey and was like, bro, <laughs> history. <laughs> Just that quick. Speaking of the club, right, I heard you tell a story before about how Puffy, he took you to a club before, and you seen a whole lot of men kissing, <laughs> and you seen a whole lot of weird stuff going on. You know, you seen a whole lot of gay stuff going on. If you don't mind, man, what's the backstory behind that? <laughs> man, 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 I ain't gonna touch that shit, man. Fuck that shit. It's been talked about. Shout out to Puffy. Love, you know what I'm saying? All good. We go. We gonna leave, leave that alone, man. That shit put to bed. Done. The Wash, underrated hood movie, man. That movie funny as hell to me, man. I remember as a kid going to the movie theater to go see that movie, man. How did that come about? You being in The Wash. The Wash, man. Um, first of all, DJ Pooh is one of my good homies, great homies, great friend. Um, to see him advance in his filmmaking, along with Dre and Snoop, it was a slam dunk. Um, they asked me to do a cameo in there. It's no problem. You know, anything for the family, man. But, you know, like any experience for me working with, with my family is something I'm going to jump at. So um, I was glad to be called for that. You know what I'm saying? Even with 8 Mile. You know what I'm saying? Like these are all all fam camp, you know what I'm saying, camp projects. And so to be, you know, able to to fill that seat or 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 play that position is awesome. Yeah, speaking of eight mile, man, how did that come about? You being an eight mile, yo? Uh, shit, Paul Rosenberg called me. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, you want to be an eight mile?" Like, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. You know, here's the role. You know, here's here's the lunch truck. You know, that was it. Before we end this interview, man, there's one last thing I want to ask you, man. Do you feel like you get the respect you deserve? I mean, you had a number one album. I mean, you had a hit TV show. I mean, you've been in so many movies, man. You got a whole list of movies you've been in right here that I'm looking at. You had a great career, man. I mean, I feel like people don't really talk about you the way they should, man. But um, just out of curiosity, man, do you feel like you get the respect you deserve? I leave credit to those who, who seek that. I don't do it for that. You know, I, what, one day, do I want people to acknowledge my work? Absolutely. But do I get up looking and seeking that? No. Um, Cause I'll be disappointed every time, you know, everybody always celebrate when people pass, right? So uh, I hope I don't have to wait till that happens, but I still feel like I'm running my race. I don't have time to look around and see if people are paying attention because I'm still running my race. And when I get to the finish line, I turn around and there's, Everyone there or no one there, at least I finished my race. And that's what's important to me. I don't really give a fuck who's celebrating me at this time or not, because I'm still running my race. But um, one day, the things that, in my mind, when I get complete with you know building what I want to build and having generational wealth and people that depend on me can continue to do so, even in my passing, um, that's success to me. Not whether somebody is writing a blog about kissing my ass or not. I don't care about being more popular. I want to be successful.